Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Saturday, November 2nd, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Looks like Earth might be going through a small debris field as we're here at the NASA JPL. NEO, Earth Close Approaches. Of new asteroids that have been discovered coming close to planet Earth. And you can see the list is jam-packed for the month of November. As we've entered the fall and winter months in the northern hemisphere, it seems like fireballs, meteorites, and near-Earth objects go on the increase. I've been going outside every morning watching the skies before sunrise, and I have to be honest, I've seen more meteorites this year than I've probably seen in the last five years combined. So it's a very active time of the year for fireballs. You're looking at a list here at spaceweather.com, kind of highlights some of the very close approaches. And you can see we had one on October 31st that was a zero LD. Nearly an impact or impacted the Earth, albeit very small, but the list is growing much larger and larger. November is jam-packed. Today we had two, one that was 0 0.3 LD. Again, not very big, about the size of a dump truck. But we've got one coming by tomorrow that's 269 meters wide. That's around three football fields in length but it's 12 ld from earth shouldn't be a problem but it's still considered an neo a near earth object you can see november 3rd's got three one being 2.8 ld that's pretty close 19 meters wide that's around 55 60 feet look for this list to grow longer as we move forward in time and if the mornings are clear, I don't know if you're an early riser or not, but it does seem like we're going through a small debris field, whether it's Halley's Comet, the tail of Halley's Comet, or a combination of other things. You might see some meteors if the skies are clear, or meteorites. I know I have. Some of the ones I've seen are blue with some fairly long tails. Some of them are pretty quick. Some of them are kind of slow. It's a... Uh, kind of a variety pack this year but i will say the skies have been pretty busy so go outside and, and check out the dark skies if you have cloudless mornings or even go out after midnight and and just look up it's very busy right now and like i said the list is more than likely going to only grow as we move forward in time i put together a new sky phenomena video slideshow of pictures that have been sent in here recently a guerrera from spokane washington of a spectacular orange sky another orange and gold sky this time from delaware sent in by barb this here i'm not quite sure what it is and neither did the person that took the photograph ben from superior wisconsin this is not an airplane or a hang glider a helicopter he did not know what this was and it was definitely not a bird some sort of a strange object up in the sky here's another picture of it here he sent several pictures here's another one here he just couldn't identify it doesn't know what it was i'm not claiming to know what it was i'm just sharing it with you guys could have been a satellite for all i know here is a, another spectacular photograph from washington yakima sent in by carlena great observation marshfield wisconsin chris o of a towering thunderstorm or the beginnings of one philadelphia pennsylvania sent in by coronica of some very wavy clouds Almost look like gravity waves. Another photo from Philadelphia sent in by Coronica of what looks like a hole over here in the clouds underneath the sun or the direct sunlight. Big circle in the sky. Nearly a perfect circle in the clouds. Freeport, New York. Photo sent in by Dave of what looks like a perfect pyramid in the sky. Perfect triangle. Medical Lake, Washington. David F of yet another spectacular sky from the state of washington mount vernon washington amy r of a hole punch cloud or the beginnings of a hole punch cloud lebanon alabama donnie j of some very wispy looking clouds up in the sky henning k from texas as he was driving through spectacular sunrise manhattan new york sent in by jason some very ominous looking clouds that were very low at the time he took the photograph here's some other clouds here behind the buildings 
with a combination of some different colors going on. Evansville, Indiana. Kisha sent in these cloud photos that do look like they're touching the ground. Literally. Bronx, New York, sent in by Lisette B of a cloud over here that's got a very familiar shape to it. Looks like a big triangle. Here's yet another triangle in the sky. This photograph here was sent in by Mags from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Largo, Florida, Robin of some large beams in the sky coming up above the horizon. About three or four of them. Some more low clouds from Spokane, Washington. Steve and Selena R. Look at that. You could literally almost reach up and touch those clouds. Louisville, Kentucky. Terrius G. Of a pink sky with a rainbow. Tucked in behind the clouds. Kansas. Tracy E. Of some bluish gray. Once again, very low. Much like this one here. Low storm clouds. Harriman, Utah. Sent in by Ray. Look at that. That's beautiful. Same type of cloud structure here from Wetumpka, Alabama, sent in by Bain M. More clouds from Alabama sent in by Bain. <clears throat> those look like Mamatis clouds. And this one here almost looks like one of those strange eye in the sky type of cloud formations. Daytona Beach, Florida. Bonnie of uh, some big beams coming up over the horizon. Look at that. Awesome photograph. Iowa, Steve K. noticed a independent line in the sky going from east to west. New Zealand, we've got what's known as a fog bow. It's a white rainbow. Mount Lassen, California, Barbara noticed a lone cloud sitting on top of Mount Lassen over there. Looks like a plate balancing on top of Mount Lassen. Look at that. It's like it's wearing a hat. The only cloud in the sky that's sitting right on top of Mount Lassen. Chris from Martinsburg, West Virginia. Beautiful photograph of the sun peeking out behind the clouds. Medical Lake, Washington once again. More orange skies, this time again by David. Hope, Arkansas, Beth B. of another orange and black sky. This next segment of the video is some pictures I received from Verna from the California wildfires. She is in Oxnard looking east. You're going to hear the Santa Ana winds, so watch your speakers coming up in this next segment of the video. I've got it toned down. It's not that loud, but you can see the trees blowing in the wind. This is the area she's looking at. There's the fires off in the distance from her location. Now this next segment is of the Santa Ana winds. Here it goes. Wow, that was very windy, and that was on October 31st. Once again, sent in by Verna from Oxnard, California. Thanks for sharing, guys. Great photos. Really appreciate all the photos and videos you guys send in. And don't forget to check out the Sky Phenomena 2020 calendar. You can find at the website. Just click on the white banner you see here at the top of the website. The white banner will take you directly to a landing page where you can order a excellent quality calendar and they'll deliver it right to your home. If you have photos you would like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery here at the website. Sometimes I use the photos in a video slideshow. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there. Mm -hmm.